the following diagram shows a non-right angle triangle ABC. A, B and B, C are given. Angles C and A are given. Question A using the sine rule shows that cosine of theta is equal to this value. Formula for sine rule is given in a data booklet and it says that uh, there are the same uh, ratios uh, uh, the length of uh, side uh, to uh, sine of the opposite angle uh, for any triangle. So we can write that 5 over sine of theta is equal to 6 times root of 2 over sine of 2 theta. And 2 theta is a double angle with respect to theta and the formula for sine of 2 theta is given in a data booklet and it says that it's 2 times sine of theta times cosine of theta and sine cancels hence it becomes 5 is uh, 3 and we can cancel or we can divide the numerator and denominator by 2 to get 3 3 times root of 2 over cosine of theta uh, then we can uh, multiply both sides by cosine and then uh, divide both sides by 5 or it's a proportion uh, you can do cross multiplication or factors uh, more well on diagonals uh, finally we get that cosine it moves to the left up and the 5 uh, moves to the right down uh, it becomes cosine of theta is 3 times root of 2 over 5 as required The next question B, hence find sine of theta. To find sine when cosine is given, we can use the main trigonometric identity. Sine squared plus cosine squared this one. This formula is given in the data booklet. And uh, sine squared plus uh, cosine squared, it's uh, what, 9 times 2 is 18 over 25 is 1. Hence sine squared is uh, 1 which is 25 over 25 minus 18 over 25 so it's 7 over 25 and sine of theta in general is plus minus square root so square root of 7 over square root of 25 it's 5 but since theta is uh, f uh, in between 0 and pi over 2 it's uh, acute angle and hence sine of theta is positive hence sine of theta is plus root of 7 over 5 or or another method we can consider a right angle triangle and uh, one angle is theta and it is given that cosine of theta is uh, uh, 3 times root of 2 over 5 and cosine it's what it's adjacent over hypotenuse and we choose any values for this side and uh, for adjacent leg and hypotenuse so that ratio is uh, 3 times root of 2 over 5 so let this be uh, 3 times root of 2 and hypotenuse be uh, uh, just 5 absolutely any well it can be chosen this uh, be uh, 3 um, times root of 2 over 5 and hypotenuse to be 1 it doesn't matter any value so that ratio is, e is equal to this then uh, using the Pythagoras theorem we find the third side so it becomes square root of uh, 25 minus uh, 3 times root of 2 squared which is 18 so it becomes square root of 7 and then just by definition sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse and finally, we put a sine plus a minus according to the quadrant. A theta is uh, from 0 to pi over 2, it's the first quadrant. And uh, sine, cosine, then tangent uh, are positive, so it's positive, it's plus. And uh, you can see that uh, we can say uh, what is uh, the value of a tangent. And it's uh, what opposite over adjacent is root over 7 over 3 times root of 2 and is uh, also plus because it's the first quadrant. 
So sine is root of 7 over 5. The next point D is located on AC such that the area of triangle BCD is 2 times root of 14. Find DC. So we can see one side, another side, and uh, the angle between them. So we can use the formula that uh, the area is uh, half one side DC times another side BC times sine of the angle between them, which is uh, theta, and it becomes a half DC times uh, uh, 6 times root of 2 and times sine of theta, which is square root of 7 over 5. We can simplify uh, now and uh, then solve for DC or um, uh, write what is DC uh, and uh, then simplify doesn't matter so you can see that uh, it's a root of 14 so root of 14 cancels uh, we divide both sides by uh, root of 14 and also it's uh, 3 so DC is just multiply both sides by 5 and divide by 3 so it becomes 10 over 3. And that's all for this question.